Hey everyone, it's TK Friday. On today's episode, I have a good one for you. Do you want to add a little bit of extra pop, a little extra punch to your images, and you want to do it with just one click? Well, you're going to find out how to do that today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Well, it is that time of the week again. It is TK Friday. Today is going to be a fun and special little episode. It's not going to be real long, but I think you're going to get a lot out of it. I'm going to teach you today how with one simple click and maybe a couple little alterations along the way, you can add some extra pop, extra punch to your images. It's going to be exciting. And we're going to use something inside of the TK7 combo or the TK7 CX CX panel, whichever one you prefer to use. You get them both when you buy the TK7 uh, panels. And that is called an action called soft pop. Now here's the definition for soft pop. Subtly enhances contrast, saturation, and sharpness to quickly add a bit of pop to any image. Oh, and by the way, please leave comments and questions. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click the bell notification icon, all that kind of stuff. It helps me to grow my channel and it helps you to be notified when I put out new tutorials. And I really appreciate that. And also, if you want to purchase any of, of the TK7 panels or videos, you can click on my affiliate link in the uh, description below this video and use my promo code DK15 at checkout, and you'll save yourself an additional 15% off of anything on Tony Kuiper's product page. All right, then now let's get popping. So what we want to do is add some pop and punch to our images. So here's what we're going to do. Just uh, come to your TK7 either combo panel or CX panel, whichever one you choose. They're both the same. They just look a little different. And then look for the icon that says TK with the play symbol on it. Click that and your actions will open up for you. Now you'll notice I have soft pop highlighted in red. And I just wanted to give you a little tip here. If you want to, if you use an action a lot or several actions, you can color code them any color you want to, so you could find them easier. And all you need to do is right click on any action and give it any color that you want. And then it'll be there for you next time. You won't have to hunt around for it. Well, then let's add some pop to this image. This is my own flower image. And as you can see here, I have this group here called pre-edits. And if I open it up, you can see I've added Topaz Sharpen AI to it. Uh, I, I did uh, chromatic aberration uh, correction in Lightroom to it, but it still has some chromatic aberration in this area right here. And I used this really great action inside here called Correct CA to remove that extra chromatic aberration that Lightroom couldn't get rid of. And this is a great action. I'll show that to you on another video at some point. And I cleaned up the background, and then, then we end up looking like this. So here's the before. And here's the after. And now let's see if we can add a little bit of pop or punch to this simply by clicking this button right here. So let's click soft pop and we'll wait a second or two for this action to run and you'll see the change here. So here is the soft pop added. Now let me shut, shut this off. Here's the before and here's the after. Pretty cool. Don't you think so? Hey, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Now notice this is in a hard mix blend mode. The opacity is at 100%. The fill is at 15%. And you'll notice it, it uh, turns this into a smart filter. It's using Gaussian blur and curves. We're not going to get into all the details of how this works. Personally, myself, I don't really understand 100% how it does work, nor do I really care. I just know that the results that it gives me are results that I really enjoy getting that extra pop and punch on my image. And I think that's really cool. But I just want to show you here, you can use this feel here to add more or less of the effect. Now I find I can get up to around 30 without getting weird uh, issues on the image. And you can go back to the left of 15 just to ease back a little bit if you need to. I find the default setting of 15 is really good for most images. But there, there are some images where I need to add a little bit more. And you'll find out as I'm working today, I'll have a couple images where I'm going to add a little bit extra to get the desired result. Let's move on to the next example. And that is this image of some uh, tree roots. I really like these tree roots. Uh, this is another one of my images. And by the way, I'm not providing any images for you today because 
I want you to try this out on your own images. Oh, and by the way, this is something that you want to do at the end of your workflow. Something to try last, maybe, just to see if you can add that little extra pop or punch to your, to your image, which may really give it that little extra oomph that it really needs. So try it, experiment on some of your images and see what you think. And then let me know what kind of results you're getting and if you're happy with them. I'd really like to know. So let's try it on this image right here. So we'll come back to TK, the TK Actions, click Soft Pop, give it a second or two to render out here, and we'll see what kind of result we get on this image. All right, so here is the before, and here is the after. Now on this one, I really like it. It's giving me that little extra sharpness, that little extra contrast and saturation. But let me go ahead and move this to the right a little bit of 15. Okay, that's 28, that's too much. Let's try about 20. That might be too much. Let me try 18. Here's the before and here's the after. But I really like these results. And this is a lot of fun to play with. And just that one click and maybe a fill adjustment is all you really need to do with this. Let's go to another image here. Okay, this is one I worked on the other day. I had a video where I was showing you how to do extreme cropping in Gigapixel when I was giving you some tips. And this is uh, Ken Tony's image. We're going to run the soft pop on it. I did a few edits in the T it, with the TK7 panels here uh, inside of this group here. You can see here. Here is the before and here's the after. I just started doing some editing on this image. It's not done, but let's run soft pop on it now. I know I said wait till the end. But let's run it on it now and see what kind of result we get. So let's go to the TK Actions, click on Soft Pop, and give it a second or two again. It'll do its little deal. Okay, and that looks really nice. Here's the before, and here's the after. Look how the, how the bird has really popped out. I really enjoy that. Now, I think the green in the background is a little too strong, a little too vibrant. So here's a little fix for that. Let's come down here and get a hue saturation adjustment. And with my targeted tool here, I'm going to go to some of this green color here. Click and just drag this to the left and ease back on the green just a little bit. Something like that. So let me click off the hue saturation layer. Here's the before and here's the after. So I just eased that off a little bit. But check this out. Here is the before and here is the after. What do you think? Does a great job. So far, everything I throw soft pop at has been a great and satisfying result. So I'm anxious to hear what you guys are thinking. Please let me know in the comment section below. It would mean a lot to me. Let's go to the next image. Okay, here's a black and white. You were, I know somebody out there was saying, hey Dave, does it work on black and white? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Actually, I do know, but let's try it out and see if it does. Well, check this out. Here's the before and here's the after before and after that extra sharpness that extra contrast looks really great and what if i wanted to give it a little extra let's take it up to like 19. here's the before and here's the after yes it does work on black and white now on to the next image okay does it work on people portraits whatever scenic backgrounds does it work well let's find out so far it's worked in everything soft pop Ah, check it out. Here's before and here's after. Look at that pop of color contrast. Beautiful. Now, maybe a little too strong. So what I'm going to do is take the fill and move it to the left a little bit. Let's take it down to around 11. Let's try this. Here's the before and here's the after. A little more subtle approach here, but yes, it works on people too. All right, let's move on to the next image. Okay, here's a black and white of a cat. I'm a cat lover. I don't know how many of you folks out there are cat lovers, but I love the little kitties. Now, here's this one. Let's run soft pop in it. It's an animal, and it's a black and white. So, soft pop. Let's see what you can do. There it is. Okay, here's the before, and here's the after. It's a little more subtle approach, but here's one where I'm going to take this feel, and let's really drag it to the right. I'm going to take it up to it. Let's try 25. Here's the before, and here's the after. Check that out. Look at that sharpness in the fur that pops out. And the contrast that pops out does a great job with black and white, and I'm really excited about that. Okay, on to the next image. Okay, some flowers in a field. This is not my image, but let's see what it does to this one. TK, TK Action Soft Pop. We give that a click, and here is the before, and here's the after. 
Wow, looks really nice. I'm really happy with that as well. Let's go to the next image. Here's some more flowers here. Let's try soft pop on it. All right, here is the before and here is the after. I think on this one, I'm going to give it a little bit more, but I think my green's going to go a little bit too strong. So I'm going to come up to about a 20. Here's the before and here's the after. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's go to the uh, hue saturation adjustment layer here. Hue saturation targeted tool. I'm just going to pull back on my greens a little bit. Just like that much, I think. Here's before the hue saturation. And here's the after. Now it's pulling back my yellows a little bit there. But if you didn't want it to pull back on your yellow, hey, look, you got a mask here. You can get yourself a brush, get some black paint. And uh, I'm just, I'm going to go at 100% here, zero. And I'm just going to paint that yellow back in here, here, and here. And so, and on here as well. So again, hey, we're Photoshop editors, right? We know what we're doing. We can fix these things. So here it is. Here's uh, the greens just pulled back a little bit when I turn this on, as you can see. But here's the overall. Here's the before and here is the after. So what do you think? Some nice pop on that image. Let's go. I think I just have a couple more. Yeah, I have a couple more left. This one right here, okay, girl in the kitchen doing, is it like a lifestyle shot? Does it work on lifestyle shots? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Let's check it out here. Soft pop on a lifestyle shot before and after. And I like the extra color in this one, so I'm going to say I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I like it. I have one more image to go, and then it's your turn to run into your collection of images and try this out. All those of you out there who own the uh, TK7 panels. Uh, let's go here to the last image, some balloons. I want to end with some balloons, another stock image. And this one has some, you know, some artistic license taken in the color here. It's kind of like a less saturated image. But can we do something with this? with soft pop and still let it maintain its look. So let's try and see what we got. So let's add soft pop to it and see what we get. Okay, so here is the before and here's the after, but look at the detail that is brought out in the sharpness and it's still maintaining its low saturation look. However, the saturation has got bumped up just a little bit. Let's see if we can go a little more. Let's take this up to, let's try a 20 here. Here's the before and here's the after. What about a little bit more? Let's try a 23. Here's the before and here's the after. Now, I think 20 was good. I'm going to go back to 20. Here's the before and here is the after. Well, there you go, soft pop. Definitely give this a try and get back to me. Let me know in the comments section below the video what you think of soft pop. If you enjoyed this video tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.